This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. All right, so let's get back to Demetrius and Aaron. They are at this beautiful lights mm -hmm. display. Guys, take it away. Hi there, guys. Well, I wanted to take you to my personal favorite spot here at Lightscape. This is the Fire Garden. And I have to tell you, when I came around the corner and saw this for the first time, I literally just stopped and lost my breath. It's just stunning because you come to these shows and you expect to see some bouncy, pretty, glittery lights to Christmas music. And then you come around the corner and you have this amazingly beautiful scene. And so I'm going to bring in the mastermind behind all of this. This is Zoe Petrell, who's with Culture Creative from the UK, who brought this to us. And I have to tell you, everyone standing behind you is kind of doing what I was doing with their mouth open. Uh, talk about why this installation was so important. Uh, in all of our shows that we like to look at ensuring that we create complementative moments as well as moments of joy. Mm -hmm. And this is all about how we can look at one of the primitive types of light and that's fire um, it just brings you down it makes you st stand with your family take that breath and and just exhale and really relax and just enjoy looking at the beauty that of the garden that's in front of you it's very effective it's absolutely beautiful I'm going to let Pat pan off here for a second so you can see this. And I have to tell you, as the sky continues to grow darker, this just becomes even more magnificent. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of Lightscape at the Chicago Botanic Garden. This is Jimmy Egan reporting the news. And today we have a sparkling day. There's nothing quite like sparkling light. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's breathtaking. To breathe life into a cold winter night. Where trees magically transform into singers. Each one of them is a voice, each one of them is a member of a choir. Gives them another reason to look at the garden in a different way than they would normally have done so. The glittering mile long trail is a first for the Botanic Garden. So these are areas that you normally don't see at night, especially not in the winter, but the show draws you in. A place where a canopy of bare crab trees magically bloom with pink lights. It takes your breath away. Lightscape is the work of renowned artists and designers out of the UK. Points of high, points of low, points of fun, but points of competitive areas as well. And it's been fantastic already this evening to watch audiences walk around that corner and, and hear that inhale of breath and just everybody just starts to talk in whispers. Drawing from the original form of light. We do scare some of our venues when we say we're going to bring fire into their venue. I love that smell. The garden of fire and frankincense, an antidote to the hectic season. Christmas and the holiday period is, is so busy. and We're friends, we're family, we're dinners, we're parties, we're shopping. But actually, we just need to take time to think and to pause. And that installation behind you allows you to do that. A feast of lights, not quite like any other. I've been trying to come here all summer to see the greenery, and finally now I'm coming, it's nighttime, and it's gorgeous. A place where, for a moment, everyone can find their own light. It means everyone to be sparkly, and everyone loves to sparkle. Pretty beautiful, huh? And I know, you know Demetrius is like, this is so Game of Thrones, babe. This is so yeah. Game of Thrones right yeah. now. <laughs> this, Van Lordis, this is what you want to see right here. This is gonna, this is awesome to see. Uh, fire. That, winner with I want to do this at home. I wonder how that'll go down. Let's take a look at how things are going to look weather-wise across the area. I want to give a seven-day forecast. A lot of folks, I think, are certainly going to be wondering what to expect uh, headed up to the holiday. 39, your high temperature on Saturday. Sunday, we're up to 44. We are dry for the Bears game. Then into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I know, very busy travel time. We're going to expect a little bit of uh, potential rain and maybe mixing with some snow coming our way Tuesday. I don't think it's going to be very impactful, but it is probably going to slow you down a little bit as you try to get to uh, where you want to get to for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day, though, we'll see a high temperature of 41 degrees with a mix of clouds and sun. So 
Not a bad forecast uh, coming our way. I, I am blown away by this. And Ben, we definitely need to start doing our Christmas lights with fire from now on. Without a doubt. You guys what be like the band of Chevy Chase. It's going to take you four years to complete anything <laughs> close to this. Demetrius and I are definitely the most like Clark that, Griswold. Complete faith in you. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Without a doubt. Thanks for bringing us that story, Aaron. That was awesome. All right. Have a Thank sparkling you. night, by the way. You're welcome. Enjoy.